That's right, it's that time of year again, road trip season. So you know what that means, people finishing their trips with back aches, neck aches, sciatica, pains that hopefully we can avoid with the tips and tricks I'm about to give you in this video. So let's start right to it, let's jump right into it. Let's talk about how we can help with that low back. First things first, for all of you driving a car, in the last probably 10 years or so, there should be a little extra button on the side which will give you the option for lumbar support. That might be the, why is that there button? Well, it's there to help try to prevent some of that low back pain that you may be experiencing. So what you're going to want to do is set that lumbar forward until it feels like there's good posture with support there, not craning your back, forcing it into place, but preventing a little bit of that slouch and giving some support right there in that low back. So that is step number one. Step number two is might seem simple, but as the driver, try to get yourself in a good neutral position. Make sure that your mirrors are situated so you're not craning your head to look either direction, whether that be side mirrors or rear view mirror. Try to make sure that your hands are either nice and set at three and six, 10 and two, whatever gives you a nice neutral position. We shouldn't be hanging out way back here or scrunching ourselves forward looking like we're about to be touching the windshield as we're driving our car. So a nice neutral position, arms slightly bent, not fully extended, just slightly bent right there. And the same goes for your legs. You shouldn't be driving with the tips of your toes, your big toe. It should be a nice slightly bent knee so you're sitting in a nice neutral position. So if it sounds like this isn't how you drive, that would be what I would take a look at first. Make sure that you're in a good neutral position. Now as the passenger, this is nap position number one. The most common thing to do or the most common thing that we see that can cause people to lose their alignment as a passenger is to take naps in the car. So laying in the back, craning the neck over to one side, not supporting, a couple ways we can avoid that. One, bring a pillow, bring a blanket, bring a neck support pillow like you'd bring on an airplane. All of these things are viable tools that can help you to stabilize your head to one side. So the neck is not crunched over like this for hours at a time, leaving you waking up like, oh, my neck is so stiff. I really wish I hadn't taken that nap. That's where we would start. Give yourself some level of support. Option number two, if you're somebody who likes to sit up, you can't lean back because it gives you back trouble, wear those airplane pillows, but in the front. The reason being, that cushion will keep your head from sagging here from going all the way down to your chest great way to avoid preventing any of that neck pain that can come from falling forward. And the same goes for flights too. If you fall asleep on an airplane, definitely put that neck cover in the front or off to the side so your head has some tilt and support rather than falling and flailing over to one side. Save yourself a lot of world of hurt. These are some great tips to start with, but if you're still having neck pain, low back pain, shooting pain in the legs, even after you've adjusted your mirrors, you've adjusted your seat, you've worked on lumbar support, you've tried to make yourself a safe napping position as a passenger, give our office a call because it may be a deeper underlying problem or you may have lost your alignment. Our number here is 630-584-5200. I'm Dr. Krause. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, comment, or share with a friend. Take care.